Hey, this is Greg from Orange Tree Samples. In this video, I wanted to show you how to customize the articulation setup in Cherry Electric Bass. So in theory, what you'll do is first select an articulation you want to edit, then set its condition, and then set the condition's parameters. So right now, I've just loaded Cherry Electric Bass, and as you may have noticed, it only has the finger articulation loaded. So right now, as you can see, uh, the fingered articulation is powered on, so the samples are loaded into memory, and it's set to velocity with the low range being zero and the high range being 127, which is the entire velocity range. What that means is any note I play will trigger the fingered articulation. So let's say I wanted to load in the slapped articulation and assign that to only the high velocity layer. So I'll go and click the drop down menu for the articulations and uh, select slapped. Now I need to power it on so I click the power button which loads the samples into memory and then I can select the condition. So for example you have velocity, key switch or even a MIDI controller number. So right here let's assign it to a high velocity range. By default it's also assigned to the entire velocity range so I'll need to adjust that. Um, so I'm going to assign that to only the high velocity notes, and so I'll put the low range at around 100. Now, by the way, I can either slide that number right there to adjust it, or double click on it, and then manually type in the number for the velocity. Now when I play, if I play softly, I get fingered notes, and then if I play past that 100 velocity mark, I get the slapped articulation. Now this concept works for any of the articulations, including the slide effects. So um, you can assign those to velocity layers, or you could create a custom non-latching key switch. And you can even see the uh, key switch on contacts mapping right there on the uh, keyboard display. Or you can assign it to a MIDI controller number. So for example, if I go there, um, you can see that by default it's set to the mod wheel, which is controller number one. Um, and then the low range and high range have default settings, though so you can change those. And it pretty much works just like the values in, uh, in the velocity layer, so you'll edit that like that. Uh, so basically, um, that's how it all works, and uh, it's uh, actually a pretty easy um, system to use once you get the hang of it. And so hopefully this video helped, uh, helped explain how that works. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be talking to you soon. Alright, thanks.